Who, who Creator. Who is Show me one verse in the Old Testament or New Testament that says that Yahweh is one person. Listen, 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 Show listen. me one verse. Huh? Show me one verse. You are verse. quoting the person. It's not in the Bible. But Church fathers came with that. What? what the, the, the Yahweh person. is one person. Listen, the, the, the father, look, the father, the father is a person. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The father is a person. The son is a person. And the Holy Ghost is a person. Right. You find that in the creed. In the Atlas. Yes, no, it's in creed. It's in creed. But it's not here. Right, but no, the script, do, you know the, the do you know the creed? Do you know the creed? Yes. Do you know the creed? Yes, we decided it in church. No, no, the creed? Yes, the Nicene Creed from 325. No, the, 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 no. from Constantinople, my friends. <laughs> I think you should we, should we leave it at that? Because no. I think we're going to go well forever. All, all, I'm, all I'm telling you, no, 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 don't go. I want to tell you in the Old Testament. Show me where. No, 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 wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. If you, no, wait, wait. Uh, we are telling you, if Jesus, if Jesus is God, yeah, yeah, that means that he's the creator of heaven and the earth. In fact, the other day, my African brother said that Jesus created everything. He created the Christians, created the Muslims, created everything. I asked him, where is the evidence? He can't find it. But you know the Old Testament, which you had to go to. No, I'm not going no, to. no, no, no. I've literally the pastors won't go there, okay? Listen to me. In the book of Isaiah, chapter, Genesis, no, chapter 1, verse 26. No, no, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 26. I'll come to that, I'll come to that, I know oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'll come to that. How about all the places no, no, where, no, 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 how about uh, Genesis 19, I'll come to that, I know all that. I'll go, I'll, I'll come to that. You want to go to that? If you read the Bible. What about uh, Exodus chapter 3? I'll come to that. If you read the Bible. I'll come to that. If you read the Bible. If you read the Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44. Verse number 24. God is talking here. Guys, to listen to me. Though, God, listen, we know who's the creator. I've let you make your final no, 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 one, one more. You've made your God, no, no, God, God is talking here. Listen guys, to me. We should have a time no, of no, final no, statements. No, no, no. Okay, one, one more. I'll give I you two. Like, you need to know this. No, you need to know. You don't know. Because you don't know who's the creator. You don't know. I've already explained No, you don't know. You don't know. Let me quote you. Let me quote. 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 In the Bible, Isaiah 44 24, God said, I am the Lord who made all things, yeah. who yeah. alone yeah. No set out of heaven, no, who God. spread the earth by myself. Yeah. Completely agree. What is Jesus? Why is Trinity? According to the Bible, why Jesus said the Father is the Lord of heaven and the earth. My yeah, brother, right. you, are, you are deluded. You are deluded. I'm telling you, because you are following the church fathers. We shake my hands. Nice debate. Thank you very much. Read the Bible and know who's the real God. You read the Bible. Jesus, Jesus had a God and was a God. If you read the Bible again, you read the Bible. The Bible. Look at what Jesus did. The Bible. In the Bible. You guys. In the Bible. In the in the Bible. In the Gospel. You see, this is the problem. He came to approach me today. You know, Bob was there, and what's what's the matter? Bob was there. Um, lying, so I went to Bob to try and uh, persuade him to debate with me to disrupt his pattern because he was talking nonsense. The man came to him, wanted to debate with me to show me that Jesus is God. But he felt miserable. I told him, You believe in Trinity from the church fathers. Jesus is God from the church fathers. Not a single verse. He's going to obscure verses. But they are clear, emphatic verses from the Bible. While Jesus is making distinction, between him and Almighty God. The Bible is telling you that Jesus was somebody near to Almighty God. How can he be God? They believe that Jesus is fully God, fully man. It's not in the Bible. He called the persons, the persons, the persons. Which persons? You see, they got their idea from the At Athanasian Creed. The Athanasian Creed is where you get all these things from. But they're in the Bible. Now, I'm going to tell you, I quoted this here before. The this Athanasian Creed. So I'm going to quote it again so that the viewers can know that this concept of Trinity uh, is in the Athanasian Creed. These terms they're using substance, yeah, co equal, co eternal. Jesus being Almighty God is in the Athanasian Creed, not in the Bible. It's not there. Jesus never said he's God, he never said what's it. Now, these are the words of the Athanasian Creed as quoted from McClintock and Strong's Biblical Cyclopedia, formulated in the 4th century AD. Now, the creed was a result of a controversy which raged from the 2nd to the 4th century and beyond. This is what he said. Listen to this creed. He said, we worship one God in Trinity and Trinity in unity, neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance. For there is one person of the Father, another of the Son, and another of the Holy Ghost. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost is one. The glory equal, the majesty co-eternal, such as the Father is, such is the Son, and such is the Holy Ghost. 
the Father is eternal, the Son is eternal, and the Holy Ghost is eternal. So like what? The Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, and the Holy Ghost almighty. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. The Holy Ghost is God. But there are no three gods, one God. I'm asking, what language is this? This is confusing. And he went on and said that the Father is made of known, neither created, no made, no begotten. The Son is of the Father alone, not made, no created, but begotten. The Holy Ghost is of the Father and the Son, not made, not created, not begotten, but proceeding. And in this trinity, none is afore or after other. None is greater or less than other. But the whole three persons are co eternal together and all equal. So that, as I have said, the unity in trinity and the trinity in unity is to be worshipped. He therefore, that will be saved, must thus think of the trinity. So the concept is from the Athenian creed, not from the Bible, as you can see. When, when the man is going here, quoting verses, which are, have nothing to do with Jesus being God. So our brothers and sisters, we're inviting you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. Islam simply means submitting one wills, will to the will of Almighty God, the Creator Allah. We, the Muslims, worship the Creator, not the creation. And this is what all the prophets in the Bible, this is the central message, that Almighty God is one Lord, and Him alone deserves to be worshipped. Just as, 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 as I have just demonstrated. If you go to the Bible again, Jesus said, Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. Emphatic in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 4, verse number 10. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. So if He said Jesus be worshipped, it's a contradiction. And this same message is repeated in Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse number 8. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. And in the Gospel of John, still John, John that He loved, you quoted extensively. Gospel of John, chapter number 4. Verse number 23, Jesus said that uh, the timing come and now is when the true worshippers, when the true worshippers who worship the Father, for the Father seeks such to worship him. So according to Jesus, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 4, verse number 23, the true worshippers will worship the Father. The first worshippers well, it was the creation and brothers and sisters, as you can see, it fell miserably. And John 17, 3, Jesus said, this John 17, 3, a missile, a scat missile against these people here who are spreading falsehood, falsehood against the pastors. John 17, 3, they hate to hear that. Here, Jesus said, and this is eternal life, that he might know that you are the only true God, the only true God, Jesus Christ, who you are sent. So Jesus said, that Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is the only true God. And you are saying Jesus is God, it means that Jesus is false God. I'm going to the Quran again, if you didn't go to the Quran. As I said, all the prophets were Muslims. They all came with one message, which is Tawheed, oneness of God. I'm inviting you, we are inviting you, to the religion of all the prophets. Prophet Muhammad, peace on him, is the last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. We believe in all the prophets, every single prophet that came before the last and final messenger, Muhammad, peace on him, was sent to their people at a particular time period. But Muhammad, peace on him, is sent for the whole of mankind. If you read the Quran, it's mentioned in Surah uh, An Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107 says that, Omar Arsalnaka illa rahmatan alamin. We have not sent you, O Muhammad except as a mercy to mankind. Furthermore, in the Bible's Quran, in Surah Saba, chapter number 34, verse number 28 says that, Omar Asanaka, illa kafatan lil nasi, basira wa nesira wa kula kina, basira wa nesira wa kula kina. We are just saying, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to mankind. Sin is not having a word against sin, but most of the human beings, they do not know. Most of the human beings, they do not know. That is why we are here doing Dawah, calling the people to the religion of the Prophet. My brothers and sisters, don't take my word for it. Don't take anyone's word for it. Get a copy of the Quran and read the Quran. Your salvation is in the Quran, in Islam. It's in worshipping Allah, the Creator, and not associating any partners with Him. As I said, one word for that in Arabic Islam. I'm going to uh, end this video with uh, two or three quotations from the Quran uh, from Surah.
uh, Alan Arm, chapter number seven, that's the seventh uh, surah of chapter of Quran, verse number 14. Here, Allah says that, Kul agar lahu atakizu waliyan, say, tell them, shall we take for ourselves anybody other than Allah as our protector, as our wali? Fatir is samawati wal ard. When he, Allah, is the originator of the heavens and the earth. When it is he who feeds, well, it's not fed. Our Lord, our creator. Our Rab, Allah Almighty God, is the creator, the originator of the heavens and the earth. It is who feeds, but it's not fed. That is his attribute. Allah is self-sufficient. He keeps, he feeds his creation. But it's not fed. He doesn't eat. He doesn't require food. He is self-sufficient. He is not in need of anything. And more directly to Jesus, more directly to Jesus in Surah. And more directly to Jesus in Surah, chapter number five, Surah five. Verse number 75. Here, Surah Al Maida, in Surah Al Maida, chapter number 5, Surah Al Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 75. Allah said, Oh, God, I'm sorry, Malam Masih, Ibn Maryam, Illa Rasul, Christ, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Because they call it Min Kabi Rusul. Many were the messengers that passed away from away from him, that passed away before him. Mortal, they are all mortal souls, all the prophets. What Umu Siddika and his mother, Mary, was a pious woman. That's correct, Mary was a pious woman. And they both ate food. Here Allah said, Jesus peace on him and his mother, they ate food. They were dependent, without food they would have died. Almighty God Allah, is independent of all needs. As I said, he feeds his creation, but nobody feeds him. Unzur kefan way ayati. Allah said, see, see how Allah makes his signs clear to them. Sumanzur anayifakun. And see how they are deluded away from the truth, my brothers and sisters. Jesus is not God. He said he's fully God, fully man. He ate food. He was dependent on Almighty God. In your Bible, John 657, Jesus said, Gospel of John, chapter 5. No, Gospel of John, chapter number 6, verse number 57. John 6, 57. Jesus said, and I live because of the Father. And I live because of the Father. So that the world, so that the world may know that I love the Father. So Jesus was dependent on Almighty God. My brothers and sisters. So this is a finish the buried with a man. This is my conclusion. So as I said, we're inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. I'm going to end this video. With Surah Al-Maida, Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64. Here Allah said, Kul yahala kitab. Say, O people that book, ta'ala ila kalimati sawa bina bina kum. That come to common terms as between us and you. Allah nabuta illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nusuk bi ishe'au. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yaktak, wala yaktak tisu ba'du na ba'dan al ba'ban bidun la, bidun la, bidun la, bidun la. That we reckon not from among ourselves, laws or patrons other than Allah. Fa'in ta'u Allah. But if they turn away, then bear witness, be a Muslim moon, that we are Muslims bowing to Allah's will. Wa akra dawana, walhamdulillahi, rabbil alameen. Finito.